Well, hello, welcome to our devotional. Uh, we're still in the book of Ephesians and in chapter 1. And today we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 and 16, where the Apostle Paul says this, For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and the love, your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. So the Apostle Paul here says there's two things that he knows about the Christians in Ephesus, the church in Ephesus, that really stir his heart to just at, to to give to express deep gratitude uh, to God and to continue to pray for them. The two things that he knows about them uh, that are so encouraging uh, are that they have a faith in the Lord Jesus, a strong faith, commitment to Jesus Christ, and they have a love for each other, a love for all the saints. And these two simple things, these characteristics of faith in the Lord Jesus and love for fellow Christians, they are they're strong indicators of what I would call authentic Christianity. You can have a lot of other of the things that people might look at as signs of a successful Christian community, a successful church. You can look at things that really don't always indicate spiritual health, uh, such as a lot of activity or uh, increasing numbers uh, uh, or, or uh, uh, e even involvement in various spiritual things. You can have prayer meetings. Uh, you can have lots of teachings. Uh, and all of that you can have. And they may be good or they may not be so good. But the indicators of authenticity, uh, the things that should make us most thankful, is when we know that Christians are walking in those two areas, faith and love. Faith in the Lord Jesus and love for fellow Christians. Now, we can talk about faith and love, uh, but both faith and love in and of themselves are invisible. You can't look at somebody and say, well, I can see they have this much faith. You can't look at somebody uh, and just say, I can, I can see they have this much love. You can't see faith. You can't see love. Uh, but what you can see is the outworking of faith and the outworking of love. You can see faith in action. And so that's how we know when, you know, when somebody has faith in Jesus, not because we can see what's going on inside of them, but we can see what they do. And people who have, who have true faith in Jesus, they're going to repent of their sins. They're going to strive for obedience. They're going to stay committed to him through thick and thin, uh, through the struggles, through the strife, through the questions, through the bewilderment, through the hardships. They, they have faith in Jesus, and that's something to be thankful for. But also love is a very visible thing, at least love in action. Even though we can't see the heart, we can certainly see the expressions of love. We can see when people are sacrificially helping one another, and they're willing to say, you know what, you need money, I'll give you money. You need my time, I'm there for you. Uh, you can express love by sacrifice. You can express love by forgiveness. You can express love by compassion and concern. But it, there's, there's outward expressions of these things and when we see these two things together we we are seeing a church we're seeing a christian we're seeing a community for which we like the apostle paul can say man for these reasons because i see faith in the lord jesus because i see your love toward all the saints i am just so excited i can't thank god enough for what's going on in your life and it's my prayer that for my life for your life for this church Calvary Chapel, Palm City, that those two things will be the identifying characteristics. So when people think of Calvary Chapel, Palm City, and they think the Christ, of the Christians here, they will think of a people who have deep faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that, that simply keeps going on no matter what happens in their life, and that they will have deep love for one another, and that we really care for one another, and we're willing to do whatever it takes to, to express that love toward one another. I hope that's something that you and I will pursue in our own life. Uh, and I hope you'll take some time to think about these things. Have a blessed day.